let me ask you a question. Good afternoon, Jigma.
क्या इतना क्यों रो रही हो मैंने तुम्हें मारा पीटा तो तुम मारा तो खाया नहीं ना तो फिर स्टूडेंट्स टुमारो इज अ फेयरवेल एंड टुडे इज द लास्ट ऑफ अवर स्कूल लाइफ
Now I would like to call Vaishali Johan, which will be for कुर्सी अड़ा दे I'm <laughs> 
Priya requested to come upon the stage. Answer me this can is the question eight round. Our judges will be asking two questions respectively. One from the boy candidate and one from the girl candidate. Number 90 and 57. Are you refreshed? Are you refreshed? Do not refresh. Yeah, that's what. My question still has not done. Just uh, warming up. Are you a computer literate? So let me ask you a question. Difference between digital equity and digital divide. Have you heard this? Not in the <laughs> Okay. Uh, let me talk about digital divide. Okay. Can you say what is digital divide? Do you have any idea about it? Yes. Digital divide. Divide, divide. Are question? Simple question. Commerce student? Okay, then so answer me what the uh, difference between self confidence and over confidence. Self confidence. Oh. In which we believe in ourselves and we can do anything we are self But by overconfidence, we don't believe that everyone is not not more than you. You are the top editor. Just speak now. Speak well again, once again. Just speak well. Self confidence is when, when we believe in ourselves and our skills, and at overconfidence, we don't believe. We believe that everyone else is not more than you. You are the at the top. Okay, fine. Anyways, so you are passing the second attempt, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you for the answer. And uh, what's the second number? 57. 57. You are a science student? Yes, sir. Okay, but let me ask you a general question. Might be a commerce, uh, a little bit of commerce. Okay. You are in a shop, and the shopkeeper pursues you to buy something. What would you do? You are in a shop, and the shopkeeper is is pursuing you to buy something again and again, which you do not want. In that case, what would you do? You ignore. Yes. If a poor person will ask. No, he is not a poor person, he is a shopkeeper. I don't know. You know the salesman, right? How they try to, what do you call, uh, uh, buy something which you do not want. They describe about it. So, in that case, when you do not want something, so how would you, you know, react? You ignore it and go away. That wouldn't be a nice answer. Okay, fine. Continue, Jimmy, sir. Producer. Good afternoon, gentlemen. My question is What does friendship mean to you? What does friendship mean to you? Okay. Um, from 11 class, I have made so many friends which are uh, who are so close to me, but they are not with me in 12th class. Uh, there is a point, but uh, uh, I have made so many friends in 12th also. They are still with 11th, but uh, uh, I miss my old friends. My question? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. 
I don't feel same how I felt in Ravi class, but uh, the friendship to me means uh, a friend who, uh, to whom I can tell everything. Who do uh, I, I say, and he do not ask to uh, me what, like why you need this, and uh, I think I need time. So. Okay, thank you. I think fifty four. What is? Good afternoon, lady. My question is: What is your opinion on women's reservation? Your opinion on women reservation? If your answer is yes, then you are saying why. If your answer is no, then you are saying why. Sir, basically, from my opinion, women reservation is not good because this divides everyone in a separate group, and we are not able to show our efforts on the official level. We are basically judged on uh, we are basically judged on our official side, like a caste, which does not which does a good thing. We should always see the qualities of a good human, not any uh, caste system or reserve system. So basically, it is not good, and it will lead to the detriment of our human development also. So basically, we are we all know that we in our India the reservation system is. Beyond level, due to which the several people who belong to the upper caste are not ready, not able to show their efforts, and not getting the government of officials and any post. My point is not caste wise. My point is gender wise reservation. Gender wise. Yeah, woman reservation. Gender wise. Gender. So gender wise is a, that is same answer only. Gender wise is not same. Same. No. 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 So no. What do you say? Yes, sir. Do you want to explain? You can explain. What? Do you want to explain? No. Okay. Thank you. I request Rabbit Sister Mary Lee to ask questions from number 23 and 65. Good afternoon, sister. Can you define success? Success is basically what when we achieve something. That means, for example, my success is to become a cardiac surgeon. But success is not an easy thing. We, we have to do a lot of hard work uh, and studies for achieving this. Basically, for one, success is the uh, goal or path that one has to take to achieve the desired success. So, you mean that to achieve your goal is success? Now, or we can mean our satisfaction that uh, we achieve something, not only uh, external. Next question, What is more valuable, external beauty or internal beauty? For me, the most valuable thing is internal beauty. Because external beauty is temporary, but internal beauty is permanent. The person is judged on the basis on their internal beauty. For example, if a person has a beautiful exterior, but their internal is very hollow, they are not good for the society. Because on the whole level, they are very mean, very demeaning, and where, wherever they go, they will always make you feel little. But the person with inner beauty are the one who will help you the entire world. They are the ones who will help you to reach what you want. And the inner beauty is also important because it is not a thing which we should protect or pursue the most. Inner beauty is what we should go for. Thank you. I have a question to ask question from the number 65. Hello. What does uh, discipline mean to you? Discipline is the, uh, is the important part of our life because discipline teaches us how to live the life in proper way and with discipline we can impress anyone. Our teachers also teaches us to keep discipline. 
Tell me, what is discipline? In your concept. To be sincere, to listen to our elders, what we say, and to respect others. Thank you. Thank you for the understanding. This was in training round. I request the seniors to take their seats. It was a roller coaster, which included happiness, sadness, quiet angerness, and pleasure. If you want to share your journey with us, we would be delighted to hear you. Good afternoon, principal, sisters, teachers, and our dear my friend. हम हैं यहाँ कुछ शैलियाँ पेश कर रहे हैं आपके लिए कृपया गौर फरमाइए हम इस सफर की शुरुआत हम सब ने साथ की जान से प्यारे यारों के साथ कितनी सारी बात की जिंदगी के उन पलों को भी हम सब ने साथ जिया था जिंदगी के उन पलों को भी हम सब ने साथ जिया था जिन पलों में खुशी और गम दोनों से मुलाकात की थी समुंदर ना होता तो कसीर किस काम की मजाक ना होता तो मस्ती किस नाम की दोस्त के लिए कुर्बान है ये जिंदगी अगर दोस्त ना होते तो फिर ये जिंदगी किस काम की जिंदगी हर पल कुछ खास नहीं होती फूलों की खुशबू हमेशा पास नहीं होती मिलना तो हमारी तकदीर में था मिलना तो हमारी तकदीर में था वरना इतनी प्यारी दोस्ती इंतफाक नहीं होती धूल थे हम सभी आसमां बन गए चांद पर रूट ले कैलाश बन गए ऐसे सर से भला कैसे रहे विदा जिनकी शिक्षा से हम क्या से क्या बन गए थैंक यू एवरी
getting warmer. I think winter is going. We are giving farewell to the winter. Are we giving farewell to the winter? Or welcoming the summer? Both are six letters. <laughs> okay, respected teachers, dear staff members, and my dear students, today it's a day of mixed in emotions as we bid farewell to our beloved students of class 12. It's a day of celebration, but also a day of sadness as we say goodbye to our students who have been part of our school family for so long. Last 12 students, as you leave this school, I want you know, I want you to know that you are well equipped to face the challenges of the world. You have been taught not only the academic subjects, but also the values of life. You are learned to be kind, compassionate, and empathetic towards others. You are learned to be disciplined hardworking and persevering. You are learned to be creative, innovative and imaginative. You are learned to be leaders, team players and problem solvers. You are learned to be responsible, accountable and ethical. You have also learned to be respectful, tolerant, and inclusive. Above all, you have learned to be spiritual, mindful, and peaceful. The term that we use, sanskari. I am confident, or can you tell that I am confident, that you will use these skills and values to make positive impact on the world. You will be change makers, trend setters, the visionaries of tomorrow. You will be the one who will be shaping the future of our society and our planet because the world is not uh, limited to Earth. People are trying to move to Moon and Mars, so you will be there. As you embark on the new journey, I want you to remember the words of the great poet Robert Frost. Two roads diverge in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Students, you have the freedom to choose your own path, your own destiny, your own identity. You have the power to make your own choices, your own mistakes, your own achievements. You have responsibility to be true to yourself, to your values, to your dreams. I give it, I tell you a small story. My story of a farmer and his donkey. The farmer was taking the donkey one day to the field. As they were going, the donkey fell into a pit. Now the pit is little deep and the farmer tried all his level best to pull the donkey out. But it was not successful. 
सो so, फार्मर ने सोचा अभी ये गदा तो गदा ही है मर जाएगा तो हम इसको गाड़ देंगे आई विल पुट द सो इन इन टू द to cover him because otherwise if i leave i don't want to see him die of starvation and i can't come and feed him every day so he began to put the soil into the pit and as the soil was falling onto the top of the donkey what did donkey do it began to shake shake of the dust take of the soil and you know what happened after time some time the donkey is on the ground because the soil that donkey was shaking off it was making the the pit to come out so my dear students the life is full of challenges don't get disturbed when people so i to you when we pull out lot of pressure i remember father lawrence continue to say you are all in the pressure cooker <laughs> now pressure cooker jada pressure hoga to factory jayega so don't take any chances things will come shake off all that disturbs you i also want to thank all our teachers on behalf of you dear students and your parents tell them when you go back tell them that i thank all of them all your parents who have contributed to the success of all of you they have been pillars of our school role models of our students the partners of our community dear teachers you have worked tirelessly to provide the best education the best facilities and the best environment for our students let us put our hands together for all the teachers now the teacher one who said a for apple to the last one to all the teachers they have contributed to you they are inspired your minds the hearts and the souls of our students as i stand here today i always wonder the class 11 students give the farewell no and this class 11 students never see what the farewell is still you the arrange the farewell for your class your seniors how do you do how do you arrange how do you plan last year you were giving to your seniors they have already left and your juniors are giving you so it is so wonderful i want to thank class 11 students and uh, the teachers class 11 teachers uh, they work hard Uh, earnestly these days they came and planned with me they were communicating with me also to the students and that you have arranged made the stage so colorful with all these uh, balloons and other decorations moreover the dance and the performance and class 11 students you are not uh, left behind you also proved still with the dances the poem the shairi and the words that you spoke it kind of it reflects how what you have become today so i wish you all the best in your future and years may you achieve all your dreams now abdul kalam says the dream is not that dream true dream when you sleep but when you are awake that dream is to be fulfilled may you find all your joys and may you be blessed with all your desires may you always remember your school may you remember your school always i remember one of the old students of one of the schools whenever he passes that way he will come inside today he has become a doctor but when he was aspiring he used to come inside not to say do anything say father hello father even the principal changes still he comes and meets the principal there meets the teachers and goes so always remember your school you this place is always it's a place to welcome you your friends you are friends i don't know how many of you have walked together all these 14 years there are few somehow in between joined together 
But today you are not going as a different individual. You are going as one group, a group of friends, one team. Now, what does friendship mean? You have to live it. Yesterday, my friends in Kerala, they had a gathering, nice party they had. And then send the photos and tell them, we remember, we miss you. Now, that's the... And always have a great love and respect for your parents. Never, ever say no to them. They may speak very harsh to you. Not because of they are harsh with you, because they love you. Sometimes we think that uh, your, our parents speak so much and which we cannot adjust with them. Please adjust with the parents. They have got their own feelings. And be always grateful, humble and kind. And may you always be happy, healthy and peaceful. So, thank you so much. And once again, I congratulate everyone. And my wishes for you, class 12 students. We are praying for you every day, class 12 students. Who is there? Whomever I meet, I told, please pray for my students. Because your, our prayers are with you and you work hard. Also, today is not the last day for you, okay? You have to come one day to get your admit card. Teachers may say you have to pay the fees also. That is the way. You have to come. We will be giving an official farewell from the school, okay? On 6th of February, all of you must come. You have got the, you will have the uh, report, result of the um, report. But all of you be here. We will officially give a farewell in front of all the students and teachers because you are part of us. And you will be always part of this St. John Vianney School, SJVS. It will be remembering you. So, always. Love you so much. God bless you. जिस घड़ी का आप लोग वेट कर रहे हैं, वो घड़ी अब आ चुकी है. So we would like to call our principal, Reverend Father Herschel, Vice Principal Reverend Sister Melly, and Sister Superior Mary Minnie for announcing and giving the title of Master and Miss Diary. So today we have a master, Mr. Viyani, Ms. Viyani, Mr. Viyani, Ms. Viyani. So you are the team of the day, and the number of the judges are chosen. Test number 33 and test number 51. You please come up on the stage and we will be more than you.
I feel obliged and elated to have been given this opportunity to propose vote of thanks on this special occasion of farewell. On behalf of entire 12th fraternity, I would like to thank each and everyone for their efforts for today's program. I am also beholden to the principal, Reverend Father Herschel, for rendering as an opportunity to speak a heart on this auspicious occasion. I wish sincerely thanks to Reverend Father to give us be between farewell and organizing it in such a way as to make this day be a trait of fond of memories for our being best. I would also like to commend and thank students committee and the teachers for working frantically to put forth the best ever farewell program ever and for preparations in such short notes. Farewell has a sweet sound of reluctance. Goodbye is short and final. The farewell of goodbye is really doesn't matter. It shows one minute. If you find it, you are a magician. I still remember all the happy and bad moments with the friends like loud laughing, silly jokes, eating others lunch, perks of competition on stairs, making fun of friends and so many things. All such memories are valuable for all of us and we will enter first. Thank you. Thank you everyone.